Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Now the last few weeks I've bought lots of modern coins to add to my collection. There's some silver modern coins, some bunk modern coins, some circulated modern coins, all sorts of styles and types and varieties of modern coins. So without any further ado, I'll show you all these coins right now. So I've put the coins I bought in this box, I'll give you a sneak peek and then we'll go through one by one from worst to the best. Very quick sneak peek there, but I think you did see one sort of style of coin at least. And we'll do that first, we won't do these in any order, we'll just go through in any random order from the box. And the first one that you might have seen as well is this. So this is obviously they're all modern coins and this is a modern 10 pence piece. But this is not just any ordinary one as it is from the Great British Coin Hunt which has every single letter of the alphabet so it's the coin hunt from A to Z for everything quintessentially British. So this is letter Q which stands for Q as of course queuing and a Q is a very British thing. Now for this I don't keep these in the this is sort of in a bunk pack here still sealed up from when it was made in 2018 but I will not keep this in the bunk pack because I have a storage method for these outside of the bunk packs. As we can see here I have the official book thingy um, sort of um, you know folder or album for these of the Great Britain letter by letter coin by coin A to Z collection and I do have quite a few in here so far I've got about half in fact I have 12 so far so I'll therefore now have 13 out of 26 so I'll now have exactly half of the letters of the alphabet series. So there we can see it, Q, of course missing, but if I get this back out here we can add it in to the book. Now some of you might think this is a bad thing to do to open bunk packs, and you may well be right, but I need it for my book rather, or my album rather than just in the bunk pack. There's a quick little close-up before we put it in, a very simple design indeed, literally just a Q with people queuing sort of through the Q, so it's quite a cool design actually, although simple. Now I'm touching it and I'm dropping it, but I, to be honest with you, I don't think it will lose much value. And some may scream in the comments, but for me, it's not a big, big deal. And I won't touch the front of the coin. I'll just um, push it in with this. There we go. I lied. I, as you've seen, I did touch the front of the coin, but overall, it really doesn't matter to me because they are, you know, I mean, look, it still looks completely fine. And I'm not planning to do this for any form of reselling. This is just a bit of fun. Um, to collect all the letters so there we go q is now in you can see some of the other designs around here and like i say i am now halfway through collecting my favorite letter i've got so far is probably either e for english breakfast v for villages or u for the union jack slash union flag there we go so that's some nice 10 p's or one nice 10 p adding into my collection nice 10 p's move that to the side now and we'll next go for let's go for this coin here this is a bit of an older coin. This is an old round pound coin. As you can see here, this is one of the city sets so with the four capital cities within the UK, London, Edinburgh, Cardiff, and of course, Belfast. Now I have the other three. I just listed the first three, but the only one I'm missing out of the four cities was Belfast. But of course, as we can see here, that is no longer true as I've just recently purchased for, two oh, by the way, sorry. This cost me three pound 69 on eBay. So I thought, you know, 3.69, May as well get another letter for the book. And this one here, there it is. I believe this cost me £3.50 on eBay as well. So some good, you know, a few pounds for each of these coins just to fill gaps and add to my collection. So a lovely coin, the Belfast one, as we can see here, there's also, with the city set, there's teasers for the other designs. So we have here, there's the Edinburgh one, there's the London one, and there's the Cardiff one, a little teaser for the designs on the main Belfast design there. So a great coin, of course, Queen Elizabeth II, from the year 2000, it's a bit of actually, might be able to get that off, but it's from the year 2000, oh there we go, so there we go, 2010, a great coin, you know, a nice one to add to my collection, and we'll do that now, I'll complete the one pound coin city set, so let's finish that off right now. So here we have a little tray of miscellaneous things, my overflow of frequencies, overflow of farthings, and my pound coin collection, we can see there, you know, coming along quite nicely, but most notably for today of course, we can see the city set here, so like I say, we have, there's the Edinburgh one, there's Cardiff, and there's London, missing the Belfast. But I can remove this bit of card now and add in the final one for the city set. There we go. So Belfast, the capital of Ireland, London, the capital of England, Cardiff, the capital of Wales, and Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. And I do apologise, capital of Northern Ireland. So Northern Ireland, England, Wales, and Scotland, capital city set now complete as part of my wider pound coin collection. Nice stuff. Now the next coin, I have to show you here, I'll have to just narrate this one. Here's a picture of it for you. 
because I did actually sell this coin. I do have the coin, as you can see, this is a Brexit bunk pack. I do have the Brexit 50p, um, just a normal one from circulation, over 10 million made, very common. I have the normal one in my collection of 50ps, but I don't collect bunk 50ps. So why did I buy it? I bought it for only a pound at the antique shop. It seemed a good price to me. And I whacked it off on eBay myself and sold it for four pounds. So a good little bit of profit there. I just thought I'd show you that coin that I did have for a small time, but moved it on four pounds from the purchase, purchasing it for one pound. Now, similarly, here is a clip of another coin. I'll insert now of another coin that, spoiler alert, I have swapped, not sold. Right then, the next coin up is this coin here. I must say a little bit of a disclaimer. This is a bit of a coins in and coins out episode today because um, this one here, I don't intend on keeping. Well, what is it? What do I want to keep? Well, this is a two pound coin. This is a silver bullion two pound coin featuring His Majesty King Charles III on the obverse there. Now looking to the reverse of the coin, we can see here, this is the new Royal Mint coin, the Beowulf and Grendel bullion coin. Now this is an absolutely lovely coin. Look at that. The detail on this design is really exquisite. Not just the actual picture of Beowulf and Grendel themselves, but the background and just everything about this coin is truly, truly gorgeous. I mean, look how far we can zoom in and not lose any quality detail. Really, really nice coin. However, I don't personally collect these coins, these sort of myths and legends, bullion coins or bunk coins from the Royal Mint. It's not a coin I would have bought for the usual issue price, but buying this for only £25 with the current price of silver, I thought that is a good deal indeed. So because of this, I bought up £25 and it is a one ounce of fine silver coin. So I'm going to go to the antique shop today and see if I can trade this in or swap it out for a Britannia, as I do collect slash stack silver Britannias, which have the same denomination, the same obverse, and the same silver weight, just a different, and maybe even worse, but a more classic in my opinion. I do prefer the Britannia design for its sort of classic design. But the point is, I, as I collect Britannias and not Myth and Legends coins, I'm going to just swap this coin out for a Britannia. So comment down below, is that a good idea? And, um, you know, we'll have to see what people think. And if I can't do it, then I'll obviously keep this for now. I don't mind keeping it because it is a nice coin. That is right. So I did actually, if we look here in the box, well, actually, let's just hide that quickly. We can see here there are two Britannias. So this, well, this one I just bought. I'll tell you the price and how about that one in a minute. But this one I was able to swap for that Beowulf and Grendel coin at the antique shop. I went in with that Beowulf and Grendel one, one, ounce, uh, one ounce coin and said, would you swap this one ounce coin for a Britannia one ounce coin? And they said yes. Because as I say in that clip, I do not collect those sort of stylized design one ounce coins, the Myths and Legends series or any other series. I only collect slash stack these Britannias. So I was able to stop, stop that one. I bought it for £25 and then swapped it. So therefore I got a Britannia for £25, which is not bad. And this is a 2023, so the first year of King Charles III. And I must say, this portrait, people, there's different opinions on this portrait. What I don't think anyone can disagree with is that it is an actually amazing portrait in terms of accuracy. It is a really, really good likeness of King Charles. Now, some people prefer it with a crown or some, you know, people prefer the Queen's portrait and stuff. But I think as a likeness, you have to agree that is a great portrait. And I think overall, this is a nice coin. And I have a second one here, like you saw. This is a Queen Elizabeth II one. That's her portrait by Jodie Clark. And this portrait is by Martin Jennings. Now, this second one, let me zoom out a little bit here. This second one I bought from the antique shop, the same when I went in to stop it, I bought another one as well. As I bought this for £30, so £25 and £30 means I paid £55 for two Britannias, so therefore £27.50 on average. Now depending on when you watch this video, you might think that's a good deal or a bad deal depending on spot price. When I actually bought these, spot was over £23 an ounce, so £27.50 wasn't actually bad. It has come down a bit for me recording, maybe down further for you watching, or up a bit when you're watching. Who knows? But I think £27.50, that's a fine price for me. I'm happy to pay that for Britannias. So we've got two there at that price, or technically one for 25 one for 30 And we can add these two now in to my tube of Britannias, the current one I'm trying to fill. So here is the current tube I'm filling of Britannias. I'll have a quick sneak peek and see how many I've got so far. There we go. So there is six. Ah, oh, this is nine. 
We've got nine ounces there, so that is now 10 ounces, 11 ounces. Now these tubes, as you know, hold 25 coins or 25 ounces. So, uh, you know, not far from being halfway of that current tube to fill. And I must say, it's a shame I can't convey this through the video. You can only see these, but the feel of all this, if you have Britannia's, you'll know the feel of just that pure silver. It's so heavy and so dense. And I, what, one thing I'll say is, I didn't realize that gold is actually, I knew it was much denser, but the gold is actually twice as dense. So it's like a, just a few percent off being twice as dense. This is really heavy, dense stuff for the size. So I can't, I can just imagine how it would be to have a huge stack of gold Britannia's. And, and if you have that, and if you felt that, then, um, you know, credit to you. But for now, silver is the one six second bolt for me because of the, you know, I mean, this, this in gold, how much would that be in gold? 11 ounces, that would be what, you know, 20 grand if it was gold. So gold is much denser and of course, much more valuable. But silver, I think equally as good to invest in, I think, you know, as long as you get it at the right price. There is a bit of a premium on these, I won't deny a bit of a premium has been paid, but hopefully I, I do believe in the future, 2750 an ounce will be below spot price so I can sell these on for even higher. Anyway, enough rambling about silver and Britannia's. Let's put them back in the tube. Very nice. And not, well, I'd say not too far. How many will there be? 14 more to fill this tube. Now the final coin for this video, you will have seen it hiding behind here, is another old round pound. And this is the Egyptian arch one pound. Bought from, well, I bought from eBay for only two pound 25. So, you know, quite a good price there for that one. And it's not very much money at all, so I didn't really mind paying it, whether it was a good deal or not, because I did, and I do, need this for my collection. So, let's return to the pound coin tray and add this in. By the way, this is from 2006, part of the Bridges set, and we'll see them in a minute now. There are a few different bridges, and here is one. This is the Egyptian Arch Bridge. So we have here, and I believe these are the right bridges. That's the fourth bridge. We then have the Millennium Bridge the Egyptian railway art one, which I'll add in a minute. And then this is the Menai Straits Bridge, Menai Straits Bridge, I believe. Hold on a minute. That is the same as that. So I'm gonna have to, well, okay. So I, I'm not finished the bridges set. I've got two duplicates. Let's add that in for now. That is definitely the Egyptian railway arch bridge. There'll be a picture on screen now for you of the Menai Straits Bridge versus the fourth bridge. And let's see which, cause this, these are definitely the same. They are the same. That's a mistake made by me. I'll have to look, I'll have to see which one I need still and buy that one. That'll all be on screen for you. And I'll have to research that. So a bit of a shame there, I guess. I did, I'm, you know, that one. Get rid of that. Well, actually, which is better condition, to be fair. This is the better one. I'll put that in here for now and we'll see, you know, I'll get rid of this one and we'll see which one I need to get instead. But um, overall, um, I've had a great big ramble on this video. So hopefully you're still here. Um, me rambling inanely about coins, getting confused about bridges, adding some silver. But overall, I think it's been pretty good. We've added, we've definitely added two coins. I did not have Belfast and the Egyptian Arch. We've added two there, added two into here, and got a, a Q for my alphabet series. So some good additions to the collection. And, you know, a good thing to notice, like, I can notice this now um, before I finish it and think I've finished and then haven't finished. So I'll get that one pronto and then look to get these last few. So there we go. Anyway, thank you for watching as always. Please do leave a like if you've enjoyed. And of course as well, subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching once again, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.